March 6, 2023, Monday of the second week in Lent, Saint of the Day, Saint Colette. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants and prophets who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day, we, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O oh Lord, we are shamefaced, like our kings, our princes, and our fathers, for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command. O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Verse before Gospel Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Holy Gospel A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure will which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. Today's message from Jesus is not an easy message to receive. Jesus is telling his disciples and us to be merciful. Jesus instructs us to be merciful as his Father is merciful. What a challenge this may be. The call to be merciful is not an easy or desired call. I assume we all are merciful in our own way. Perhaps we do good works. We may volunteer at St. Vincent de Paul, the food pantry, or simply help out a neighbor who is in need. Or we may donate to our church, work with the scouts, or teach religious education. There are many and varied ways that we can contribute to making the world a better place. 
However, part of Jesus' message today is a very personal one for us, and yet it may be a difficult message to hear. Jesus also instructs us to be merciful. Yes, part of being merciful may be doing good works. However, Jesus primarily challenges us and instructs us to stop judging, criticizing, and condemning others. And we are to forgive the individuals who have hurt us. Ouch! It may be fairly easy for us to give of our time, treasure, and talent. However, to forgive someone who has hurt us deeply is a huge challenge. We simply may not want to forgive. We even might want the other person to suffer for what they did to us. Yet, if we truly wish to follow Jesus, we have to forgive. There is no other option. Most likely, we will never forget as the memory is stored in our minds and hearts. However, we do have a choice. We can choose to be merciful and forgive the other person. And in the process, we also may free ourselves. Can you remember someone who has forgiven you for something that you did to hurt them? What a wondrous gift they gave you. The gift of forgiveness frees both parties. When the person who is hurt forgives the other, they can move forward in their lives freely. They no longer will be tethered to the hurt and anger they had been carrying. And the individual who is forgiven also is freed and graced. I assume we all have been hurt by others and in turn, we also have hurt people in our lives. If someone forgives us for the pain we have caused them, what a great gift we have been given. Today, may we seriously ask ourselves, am I willing to take the step to forgive? Insert name. The answer may not be an immediate yes, but we will have opened the door and taken the first step. Today, may we pray for the grace we need to take a first step, and may we pray for each other that each of us will have the courage and strength and move towards forgiveness. If we do so, the other person will be freed and we also will be freed. What a great gift to give to the other person, ourselves, and our world.